Good morning, my dear students. I am Muhammad Bahaduddin, working as an assistant professor in IS Engineering College, which is affiliated to Suma University, Hyderabad. So today in this session, we are going to learn second problem on the curve beam based on the crane hook of a rectangular section. The crane hook carries a load of 20 kilo newton as shown in a figure. The section at x minus of x is a rectangular whose horizontal side is 100 mm. Find the stresses in the inner and outer fiber at the given section. So the crane hook it is mainly used for lift the heavy object from one place to the another place. Purpose we are using the hook. So what I am doing over here this is the crane hook of a rectangular they are having the rectangular section is it right up for this breadth is given as 100 and depth is given as 20 if you are measure from this this one what we can say we can say as the centroidal axis of this crane hook so it is represented by c represented by c and here this one is the reference axis so that's what we can say that it is a neutral axis c is indicate centroidal axis n is represent the neutral neutral axis so the distance between centroidal axis and the neutral neutral axis is is e so e is the eccentricity in nothing but the distance between the centroidal axis and the neutral axis okay so this is the reference section is x minus of x so if you want to measure the inner width inner width is how much is there it is represented by ri so inner radius is ri if you want to measure from the reference section to the neutral axis is it is represented by rn rn nothing but the radius of neutral axis okay so if you measure from this if you measure up to the c from the reference section it is represented by r r nothing but the radius of curvature of the centroidal axis what we can say here the radius of curvature of the centroidal axis if you want to measure at the outer surface of this rectangular bar we can say that it is the inner outer radius of the rectangular section this is the inner radius of the rectangular sections and this one is the radius of a neutral axis and the radius of curvatures of the radius of curvatures of the centroidal axis and are nothing but the radius of curvature of the outer section of a rectangular bar clear so if you observe this figure over here how much load is acting over here 20 kilo Newton load is acting in a downward direction. So if the inner radius here the inner radius is given as 50 and the outer radius is given as 150 mm clear. So this means that the distance from here to here is how much is there 100 mm from this end to this end how much is there 150 minus of 50 then how much you will get 100 mm will you get clear then after that we need to write down this given data so in the given data you need to represent that how much load is acting on the crane hook so 20 kilo newton load is acting on the crane hook so 20 as it is kilo nothing but thousand newton clear here so inner radius of this inner radius of the crane hook is how much is there 50 mm and the outer radius of the crane hook is 150 mm 
and this one this is the height how much is given 100 mm is given and width is how much is given 20 mm is given in this problem the first of all what we need to find out we need to find out the area of this section at the reference axis x of x we need to find out if you want to find out we have to use the formula or uh, formula is breadth into height why um, why we have to use this formula because of we have this rectangular sections for that reason we are using the formula is breadth into height or you can represent here breadth into depth it is your wish is it right so here the breadth is how much is given over here it is given as 20 mm and how it height how much is given here 100 mm is given so 20 into 100 then you will get the 2000 mm square after that our main intention is there we want to find out the radius of curvature of the neutral axis we need to find out so if you want to find out the radius of curvature of the neutral axis we have the formula is height by log e outer radius by inner radius height is how much is given over here 100 is given by log e outer radius is how much is given 150 is given 150 by inner radius is how much is given 50 so if you divide the whole the value then you will get the answer is 1.098 if you divide by 100 by 0 1.098 then you will get the answer is 91.07 mm so this, this is the value of radius of curvature of the neutral axis R n. Okay, dear. Again, we need to find out the radius of axis of the centroidal axis. The centroidal axis we need to find out. We need to find out the value of R. If you want to find out the value of R, we have to use the formula R is equal to inner radius plus height by 2. When we have to use this formula, always you need to remember if it is rectangular bar is given then only you have to use this formula otherwise there is no need to use this formula is it right so in the inner radius of this crane hook it is given as 50 plus height is given as how much 100 mm by 2 so then 2 ones are 2 50 so okay if you divide this 100 by 2 then you will get 50 plus 50 then you will get the answer is 100 mm okay after that our main intention is that we need to find out the distance between the centroidal axis and the neutral axis we need to find out our intention is we need to find out the eccentricity eccentricity how we we'll get here let us see is nothing but eccentricity the distance between the centroidal axis and the distance between the neutral axis so for that reason we have to use the formula is e is equal to the radius of radius of curvature of the centroidal axis minus the radius of curvature of the neutral axis so r is how much is there 100 minus the radius of curvature of the neutral axis how much we got here 91.07 so if you subtract this value then you will get the answer is 8.93 mm so after that our main intention is there we want to find out the distance between the load and the centroidal axis okay so x is equal to how much is there x is equal to we can say as r so we are measuring the distance from this section x of x clear the section x of x from up to the centroidal axis is it right so we can say that this x always equal to the radius of curvature of the centroidal axis x is equal to r x is equal to r so here r is how much we got it here 100 mm we got it clear so x is equal to r r is how much is there 100 mm after that our main intention is there we want to find out the bending moment we need to find out about the centroidal axis we need to find out if you want to find out the bending moment about the centroidal axis we have to use the formula is load into perpendicular distance so how much load is acting on it the load is 20 into 10 power of 3 newton is acting the distance is from section x minus x to the centroidal axis is how much is there 100 x is equal to r so for that reason we are taking here how much load is acting here load is 20 kilonewtons is acting 20 into this up to here centroidal axis is how much 100 so 20 into 100 we can say that 
ओके ट्वेंटी इंटू सॉरी ट्वेंटी किलो मीन्स टेन प्रो ऑफ थ्री इंटू एक्स नथिंग बट हाउ मच इज देयर हंड्रेड इज देयर सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई ट्वेंटी इंटू टेन प्रो ऑफ थ्री इंटू हंड्रेड देन यू विल गेट द आंसर इज टू इंटू टेन प्रो ऑफ सिक्स द यूनिट ऑफ लोड इज न्यूटन द यूनिट ऑफ डिस्टेंस इज एम एम After that, our main intention is there. We want to find out the direct tensile stress at this section x minus of x. We need to find out. If you want to find out, find out the direct tensile stress at this section x minus x, we have to use the formula is direct tensile stress is equal to load per unit area. How much load is acting on this crane hook? Twenty newton. Is it right? Let us see over here. How much load is acting? Twenty into ten per three. Newton load is acting on this crane hook by cross section is area is how much is there two thousand. If you divide the whole the value, then you will get the answer is ten. The unit of load is Newton. The unit of area is millimeter square ten Newton per mm square. So we know very well one Newton per mm square is na is equal to one mega pascal. So instead of Newton per mm square, you have to represent here mega pascal ten mega pascal. After that, what what is our intention? Is there our intention? Is there we want to find out the distance from the neutral axis to inside the fiber? We need to find out. So, if you want to find out how to find, that is the most important. So, I will write. I will use the pen. Okay. Here, this is the. I will use. Okay. This is the y i. Okay. And from here to here, y o. Clear here. So this is the y i and this is y o. We can represent. Okay. So let us see. So y i nothing but you understood that the distance. From the neutral axis to the inside the fiber, fiber. So the neutral axis is represented by ninety one point zero seven. Inner radius is given as fifty. So if you subtract this value, then you will get the answer is forty one point zero seven mm. Again, we want to find out the y o. Y o nothing but the distance from the neutral axis to the outside the fiber. Neutral axis to the outside the fiber. We have the formula is R O minus of R N. So R O nothing but outer radius minus of radius of neutral axis. So outer radius is how much is there? One fifty mm minus the radius of neutral axis is how much is there? Ninety one point zero seven. If you subtract this value one fifty minus of ninety one point zero seven, then you will get the answer is. Fifty eight point nine three mm. Again, our main intention is there. We want to find out the maximum bending stress at the inside the fiber. Okay, so the maximum, the maximum bending stress at the inside the fiber, it is represented by sigma b i equal to the bending moment into. Distance from the neutral axis to the inside the fiber by area of cross section and e nothing but the distance between the centroidal axis and the neutral axis and r i nothing but inner radius equal to so two this bending moment we have the value is two into ten power of six so. The distance from the neutral axis to the inside fiber, we have the value is forty one point zero seven by. So area cross sections 
we got it as 2000 into e nothing but the distance between centroidal axis and neutral axis how much we got here 8.93 into inner radius is 50 if you divide this whole the value then you will get the answer is 92 newton per mm square so instead of 1 newton per mm square we can represent as 1 mega pascal 92 mega pascal after that our intention is there we want to find out the maximum bending stress at the outside the fiber, fiber we need to find out so if you want to find out we have to use the maximum bending stress outside the fiber equal to bending moment into the neutral axis to the outside the fiber by area cross sections into the distance between centroidal axis to the neutral axis into outer radius the bending moment we have the value is 2 into 10 power of 6 into the distance from the neutral axis to the outside the fiber we got the answer is 58.93 by area of cross section is 2000 into eccentricity we can say that 8.93 into outer radius is how much we got it here 150 if you divide the whole the value then you will get the answer is 44 newton per mm square 1 newton per mm square we can say that 1 mega pascal 44 mega pascal so it's in compressive in nature we can represent so after that our main intention is there we want to find out the resultant stress at the inside the fiber as well as we need to find out the resultant stress at the outside the fiber we need to find out so for that reason what i'm doing over here we are using the formula is tensile stress plus sigma bi so sigma t is nothing but the diet tensile stress plus sigma bi nothing but the maximum bending stress inside the fiber 10 that is the stress we have the value is 10 and the maximum bending stress at, at the inside the fiber we have the value is 92 10 plus 92 then you will get the answer is 102 mega pascal is in tensile in nature so after that the resultant stress at the outside the fiber we have the formula is diet tensile stress minus the maximum bending stress at the outside the fiber is sigma bo sigma t we have the value is 10 sigma bend maximum bending stress at the outside the fiber we have the value is 44 10 minus 44 then you will get the answer is 34 mega pascal so instead of minus we can represent that the compressive force is acting at the outside the fiber and the tensile force is acting at the inside the fiber so i hope so no one is having the doubt regarding this problem if you have the small doubt regarding this problem please write down in the comment box and please like share and subscribe my channel here thank you